the process of change from one condition to another. We are now at a new crossroad where change is evident once again. What does not serve us must transform us anew. Returning to our original state of oneness and true nature of that which created who we truly are. Confusion was the way of the past. Enlightenment is the way of the now and future. Shedding away the layers of deceit. We now bring you the transformation of the two who started as one. Our fearless planet never stands still. Earth has been in a process of transition, and we are not exempt from this remarkable ongoing reality. And hello and welcome to Real Talk with the Cummings. We usually don't have a show on Wednesday night. But we found it very important to bring to your awareness something very. that we became very Con disturbed, yeah. concerned, kind of like puzzled and all sorts of different things um, regarding a video that Jeffrey Daughtry Daugherty. Oh, Daugherty. <laughs> Daugherty. I'm sorry, I'm Cuban. Because da Daugherty is, is that person. other guy, the singer, singer Daugherty, yeah. who um, we been following for a while some of his information we resonate with but um and we have bought his books and we have read a lot of his stuff and we kind of look a little confused i am very confused and um i would love to know if jeff if he's gonna ever watch this video but for those of you who don't who don't know who jeff darty is he is a guy who basically well he says it on his own little brief bio. Jeff Jeffrey Darty is a 20-year minister, Bible college graduate, veteran of over 100,000 hours of biblical study, and he takes a look at the fabulous. Um, well, and in, in this case, he takes a look at the fabulous drag queen Super Bowl. Yeah, uh, there was this video that he did yesterday, mm -hmm. and he was taking awful offense into, um, you know, what was going on with this, this, this drag queen video that's going to be playing during the Super Bowl commercial for some hummus company, Sabra Hummus or something. Which and the commercial was, was like 20 seconds was, or something? Well, the, the commercial that we see is only 20 seconds, but it's like, this is what's supposed to reshape the minds of the youth of America. I mean, this is what... It's supposed to bring a sea change of, of global proportions. I'm, I, I'm kind of at a, at a loss, actually. But yeah, he has a channel on YouTube, about 40,000 subscribers that watch, and he puts out videos all the time. Yeah, I mean, sometimes constantly. two or three a day and we get the notification because we've been viewers and subscribers for a very long time now. Like I said, we've agreed with a lot of the stuff that he says, very intelligent man. Uh, but something has been going on with Jeffrey lately and something is not working right in my humble opinion well, out there. you know, he just has his, his opinions and he's always been very anti-LGBTQ. But what really is disconcerting for those of us in the LGBTQ um, is the fact that he put out this video, this yesterday that basically riles people up. And I'm gonna go ahead and put that link right here on the chat for those of you that uh, want to actually take a listen or a watch. Um, very, very, uh, gosh, I can't even find the word for discriminatory, very hateful, very, I don't wanna say unlike Jeffrey, cause he, He's very ego driven at times and he can be very blunt, but I think he actually like really went overboard with this particular video and we take offense. Yeah, it's very offensive because it places us a, a target on the trans community. And also he conflates trans with drag and, you know, 
the, the differences are, are great. You know, drag is an art form um, in the gay community. It's a very, very well known art form. And actually drag goes beyond just the art form of from the gay community. It's been around for a very long time. Well, cross, you know, dressing cross dressing has been, been something that's been around since the beginning of time. I mean, long, long time ago, where women were not allowed to play roles in the stage, and and they men even go outside. Right, men played all the roles. They wore the wigs. They wore the dresses. Um, there is a massive cross dressing community out there. People that do it behind closed doors. They live a normal life and behind closed doors, they do these things and no judgment. We are all entitled to live our lives the way we want to. But Jeffrey somehow has got his knickers in a wad and is really concerned that this commercial and the agenda that he claims that there is, is going to pollute the mind of children. Mind you, I was raised in a heterosexual household. You were raised in a heterosexual Christian household as many members of the LGBTQ community are raised and we turned out trans, gay. So do you think this is something that kind of like rubs <sighs> off or gets, you know, like they're really concerned? He's really sounding He's, off the alarm he here. He is using it as a way to just get people to get upset, get people to get riled up, get people to like push back. Basically, you wrote a comment, I wrote a comment on this video, which is very, very inflammatory towards the community because although he does not advocate violence towards those of us in the community. He claims, he, I don't he want- claims, I don't, want you know i'm not talking about rounding those people up we're not talking about shooting them we're not you know that the kind of thing he's talking about and it's like but you get comments like these in his chat room which are very concerning very concerning and i don't know if and, you guys could read that and it says to it here. says this is not unlike the weimar weimar is the republic of Germany before Hitler, right. just before Hitler, about time for another roundup and cleanup. Now that's I mean that right there. So we're talking about the the Holocaust is what we're talking about. We're talking about the Nazi Holocaust where they rounded up Jews and put them to death. Oh. This is um this man is literally inciting people to do that. Right, and and just kind of stirring up the pot and making, telling people that, hey, we're not gonna put up with it. We're gonna push back, sister. You know, that's how he commented when I commented today regarding letting him know that it's not okay to talk about members of the LGBT community that way. And that there is no agenda. And trust me, I used to believe the same thing. What I'm actually believing now that there is an agenda to make people believe that there's an agenda so that they could create fear, hate, and all this animosity that they're creating towards the LGBTQ community because we have made tremendous strides. Yeah. And, you know, the thing is that Mr. Doherty always talks about how wonderful things are going to be, how amazing life is going to be and how he's not a doom and gloom person because he's speaking about the wonderfulness of how everything's just going to get better and better in this new age of Aquarius that we're going to be living in, this new uh, level of humanity that we're going to all achieve. And, you know, basically he says this, but then he comes out with that video and he kind of like, kind of, kind of cancels it out because now he's talking about the hybridization of mankind and the human soul being intermixed with AI and the dangers and watch out and those trans people and those, those in the LGBTQ are, and, and he makes fun of it. Yeah. You know, he calls himself a, a lesbian in a man's body. I mean, and he talks about chickens clucking and that he identifies as a, kitchen, a chicken as well. Yeah, and, and just making you know, fun it's just of really, really 
disturbing. Very, very offensive. offensive and it's disturbing. just offensive. You know, you wrote, are, are you educated on intersexuality, on the fact that human beings are multifaceted and not one dimensional? The one dimension has been created by the rat bastard that Which is he who talks he about. He calls Yahweh the rat bastard. Um, and so um, that you so much think you're going against, but you're actually doing his bidding. You call yourself the Christian whistleblower, but you're no different than them. Do you realize that this movement is needed to break free from Yahweh itself? People don't realize that this, I mean, think about it. Think about what's happening, okay? People think that there's this group of individuals who they call they are creating all this stuff. Could it be possibly that we are returning to our oneness, to our original nature, and we, the individuals from the LGBTQ community, are the messengers, are the ones here to set you all free? Well, you wrote, we the transgenders are the messengers. We are here to help set humanity free from the curse and separation of the two who started as one, as we talk about in, in our, our open. Yeah. Stop spreading hatred and wake up for real. And all he had to say was, sorry, what? Sister. We are pushing back, get used to it. So what What do you mean by pushing back, Jeff? Yeah, what, what exactly? What exactly are you advocating? Because right now we've got people in your chat room that are saying, on, what? Let me, let me share this on the screen. Oops, I'm trying to share. And there we go. My opinion, do what you want, but stop expecting us to embrace it. Get back in the closet. Don't want you using the bathroom with my granddaughter. So get back in the closet. That is very, very offensive. And you don't want, what, a woman to use the same bathroom as your granddaughter. Do you expect my wife to use the male's bathroom? Do you expect to use the Do you expect bathroom? me to walk in a female's bathroom looking like this? So what are you what are you pushing against? Against the reality that people live against their known reality? Although you claim to be so like spiritually ahead and awake, you know, awoke I awoke, guess people yeah. talk about, but yet you still expound on things from your religious Christian programming as a Pentecostal evangelist. It's very I mean, deep. It's really deep rooted. It's know. really disconcerting, you know. And let's see what else this person says. When I want to be left alone, I don't do a, go around telling people to leave me alone. That's just stupid. See, I don't understand the concept of what people don't understand we've had years and years of oppression years christianity of being, has of being, oppressed us for thousands thousands of years. of years being bullied being murdered being hurt being seen as less than it is time for us to express those things and there are people that have, have become brave enough to be able to step forward do you understand that your grandson granddaughter son or daughter could end up being gay a lesbian or a transgender individual. And we might be their saving grace because we are the only ones, and I'm not just talking about me and Linda, but I'm talking about as a community, the ones that will be able to allow your grandson, granddaughter, sons and daughter to be able to relate, to see that there's somebody like them in the world, that what they're hearing from their bigoted parents is not the way it is. We could actually be the ones saving the life of your children yet you're calling it an agenda? No, the agenda is what you all are doing, what you all have been doing. And right now, your agenda is to destroy what we have accomplished as a community. You know, gay marriage came through in 2015. Oh. And ever since then, the bullseye target by the Christian right, by conservatives has been on the back of the transgender community. I mean, that has been the main target. I mean, there was like this massive, massive push about the bathrooms. And, you know, 
I live my life, you live your life. Yeah. We use the bathroom. Nobody's there to peek at anybody. Nobody's there to look at anybody. And, you know, we just blend in and we do our thing like any other human. Yeah. When I go to the bathroom, I'll just go to read and, myself. And um, we, we, we leave. Yeah. That's, that's it, you know. So this, this whole fear-mongering thing has been blown out of proportion. I mean, pushing back against what? what? Against three to six percent of the human population, God, all ninety-five percent, ninety-four percent of you. Yeah, I mean, exactly. Really, it's like they they don't There's like the no fact war. that we exist. We're not going away anytime soon. You know, and I know many of you wish you know that we were rounded up and put in some sort of camp and probably lit up on fire or something, but it's not going to happen because we have the right to live just as much as you do. You don't have, you know, the cornerstone on life and on being happy, on being able to get married, on being able to live a normal, healthy life without I mean, being ridiculed and shamed. You know, it's it's crazy. And the thing is that Jeff Darty, you know, we bought some of his books and um, there's a book out there that he's written called Serpent and Doves. And in it, he goes into detail about mankind, about the creation of the human and how we are basically um, tricked into these physical bodies, how we were, you know, placed on this planet and quarantined into mm -hmm. these physical bodies. Meat suits, meat right? Nuts, yeah. He talks about meat, you know, physical, physical bodies turning into uh, spiritual bodies being housed in these in these in these little what meat meat mud suits or something like that he calls them and basically you know he's elaborating on the need to keep the human in his or her physical manifestation right. of being right. so i mean which is so it? what what are you fighting for i mean he talks about we're the last uh the real human real humans let's you know whatever it is but it's like, okay, so, so at one point you're talking about things in your book that says that we were locked up inside these physical corpses mm -hmm. and that our real, real body is not even physical. Exactly. Yet you're wanting to keep people in the physical. Right. So who are you working for? Right. Are you working for the LAM? I mean, are you working for Yahweh? Yeah, I think you know. so. I really do. I mean, and, and it's confusing because Jeff... We'll end up talking about these rods and we'll end up talking about these braces and you'll end up talking about all these things that are very woo-woo spiritual stuff on one breath, but on another breath, he's still spewing out the Christian doctrine. It's very confusing, Jeff. You know, I, I'm really like not sure what you stand for anymore or do you stand for anything for that matter? Well, I mean, it's like, it's, it's, it's really confusing because when we were originally listening to him, he recognized that humans were created or made, formed as male and female, right. and that they were split. split. He's read the esoteric writings in the Nag Hammadi, Sumerian texts and all that. He's a very educated man. He knows how to open up the Bible and do all the different ways of study and word, word breakdowns and stuff. He goes through it on his show all the time. Mm -hmm. So he knows as well as anybody the history exactly. of humanity and how we've been lied to. So for him to be so about, he says he refuses to use the word gender anymore, that it's two sexes. Who created the two sexes, Jeffrey? Isn't that the, the rap bastard that you're fighting? But even, even your own, like if you look in the Hebrew... Um, manuscripts and stuff from the from you know centuries ago. Even the even the Jews refer to there being more than two genders, two sexes. Even mm -hmm. they they talk about it, you know. And it's it's recorded like when you were uh, confronted by a Jewish rabbi. Yeah. What did he tell you? You're like the Elohim. You're like the Elohim. And I was like, what's up? You know, yeah, I, wasn't you didn't really, know. I didn't know back then. And it's just like, 
So, you know, all this fear mongering, all this hurtful stuff. Um, Marcy, uh, Mark has joined us and saw his tackle forever. And um, let's see, let's share really quick what they have to say. Um, Taco Forever says, and then and then the girl right after said exactly, like people are actually agreeing with that too, you know, that little thing that we shared, somebody else agreed yeah. with them. And um, Marcy Mark says. Our only agenda is to spread to who we are and live our lives. They are the ones with the agenda to spread hate, violence, negativity and confusion. It's pure evil. Dogma is evil. And that is very true. And uh, she also stated, our only agenda is to be ourselves and live life, period. Exactly. And, you know, yes, there may be a lot more stuff in the media. And, and in movies, there's more gay characters and trans characters because we deserve to be recognized and seen as well. And, but we're going to yeah. hide in that little closet that you want us to hide into. And, no. you know, the, the way you're talking sounds exactly like those back in the 60s telling the colored people quote unquote <laughs> in the back to, of the bus to, to to go drink from their own fountain and mm -hmm. use their own restrooms if you want to be here then you know you have your own part of the world mm -hmm. to live in and we could live in our part of the world he's like those of us who are straight we don't want anything to do with you those of us who are straight say, why don't you do what you want to do with your life? You're abnormal, <laughs> but go be abnormal together right. with all your other abnormal friends. And then he states that straight people don't push their straightness on others. The world. That's all it's been about. That's all it is. The entire world. Christianity is built on Male being and woman, straight. You know, man and woman and everything heterosexual. And, and you're claiming that you guys don't push this stuff on us. That's all we've, we've been hearing. I remember working you know, and not being able to share my life, putting pictures of the girls I was with or whatever, because, you know, only straight people were allowed to do that. Gay people had to hide. That time is over, Jeffrey. It's done. There's no pushback for you guys. You've had your time. It is time for the future, for the dinosaurs to go extinct. And that's what you guys are, dinosaurs. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're doing something that even like young, younger generation, mm -hmm. they're, they're programmed differently yeah. from birth. I mean, it's not like they're coming from like, there's so many people in the LGBT community that come from a Christian families and stuff like that big time you know large population right. of individuals that are trans and, and are gay or lesbians come from a christian household but also those that are younger mm -hmm. a younger generation mm -hmm. say the millennials for instance which are quite popular these days they don't think like the older generation does and the younger generation whatever they're called mm -hmm. they don't think like the millennials do no. so Evolution. Do you think that maybe the world is changing yeah. and that it comes from like from the factory? Right. You know Evolution, what I mean? it's changes, like, changes that are taking place. Get used to it, Jeffrey. There's not there's not gonna be a pushback. You guys are gonna go like the dinosaurs did, become extinct. But he says in his book, he says, Genesis 1:26. 27 shows us the creation of the hybrid by the Elohim in their own image as male and female spiritual beings. In Genesis 2, 5, we see the Lord fail in his second attempt to destroy the earth by bringing drought. Then he decided to go after the jewel of creation, the Elohimans. And the Lord, not the Lord as anything good, but Yahweh, formed a body of the dust of the ground. Remember, man had already been created six verses later the spiritual right. version mm -hmm. right that's the real us this right. isn't right the elohim had already created them as spiritual hybrid spiritual beings whatever the lord created here was not the original creation the lord yahweh created this meat suit the this counterfeit. physical mm -hmm. created a counterfeit what while the elohim created spiritual beings the lord fashioned bodies out of the dust of the ground. Mm -hmm. Simply put, he made bodies of dirt and mud, and that's what these are. Mm -hmm. It was the linchpin 
of his plan to entrap the spiritual creation, which is not of a gender. Mm -mm. It is not um, procreating children. It's not having to have sex. Baby it's factory. Not, it's yeah. not, you know, the male whole, and female, right. you know. The I mean, whole it's concept not of reproduction, of enslavement. What are you standing for, Jeffrey? Because, I mean, it's like you, you're confusing. confusing. Yeah. Because on the one side, you're speaking like a right-wing fundamental preacher, and the other, even magic and potions and, and selling all selling sorts of rods stuff. and yeah. the mystic bracelet and all this other thing and raising your level of consciousness to like this level. Like right. it's like so. He this is your book. Simply put, he made bodies of dirt and mud. It was the linchpin to entrap the spiritual creation of the Elohim. He knew that if he could get man to enter these bodies, they would be stuck in them, unable to leave. So you're talking mm -hmm. transhumanism. Right. When transhumanism already happened. It's like you, know, it. you want to talk about like the second coming and how it already happened and Rome and all that. You want to talk about all that. But then you have to also acknowledge that this is transhumanism. Mm -hmm. This was the perversion that happened when the Elohim were able to manipulate us and stick us into these physical bodies. Right. You so, know? So, so I mean, who's got the agenda, Jeffrey? Who's got the agenda? Who are the ones that possibly are here to save humanity's rear? Individuals from the LGBTQ community. Transgender, we are the messengers. We are the ones that are telling you, no, this is not how it is. Remove the veil, wake up. A lot of people talk about being awoken and they're as dead asleep and they continue to follow that, that Christian judo belief. And let's see here what Marcy has to say. I love to sit and chat with you two about the abuse from Christians and pure mental anguish that caused me for years. It's not only towards trans community, it's all LGBTQ, but yes, of course, towards trans. It's, it's, you know, we've made a lot of gains and a lot of leeway, but they're, they're the ones pushing back and trying to destroy what we are trying to create. And Kim says, Actually, all the Abrahamic religions are pretty rough on cis straight women too. Only cis straight men are favored by God <laughs> and chicks are supposed to be in silent submission to them. You know, when I went to Israel, I had the opportunity to go to the old city of Jerusalem. And at the wall, there's a place and it's divided. Men are over on the left mm -hmm. and they can go into the inner purse. And the women are stuck on the outside and they cannot go into the uh, inner chambers and stuff. So there's this distinction, you know, and there's this separation mm -hmm. that's created by these Abrahamic belief systems. You know, they 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 incite division. It's what religion is about. And that's what I'm seeing, sensing from you, Jeffrey. And here are some more of his viewers who want to share a little bit more. This is a person who actually has commented on our stuff in the past. Oh, wait, let me do this again. Uh, doo, doo. Okay. Here we go. Um, if a trans man gets burnt up in a fire or up in a fire, the DNA will come back as a woman's DNA and vice versa. We hear this often about the bones and, and the DNA. How often, really, when they bury me, you think they're going to dig me up and go, oh, that was not actually a man. It was a woman. And why would they care? Why would they Literally. care? I live I mean, my why life they care? as a man. I don't live my life as a woman. My birth certificate, everything's been changed. I mean, we're supposed what? to live in the present. Right. right now, they're trying to get us to live in the future mm -hmm. where, you know, we don't even know what the future holds. You know, we do not know what will happen with humanity. Mm -hmm. We don't know how advanced humanity will become, what changes are coming as we as we develop and grow and ev evolutionize. And there's so much fear-mongering and... Jeffrey claims that he doesn't use fear mongering, but this video he made was very fear oriented. It's it like, was. 
we don't know what the future holds. We can change the future with our vibration if we learn to come from a place of love and acceptance and harmony and realize that we're not, we're here to coexist. Every single group fights with every single group. And it's not about sectioning off people and cordoning them off into different places where they can gather together. This is not a cattle farm where we can just like put the cows here and the ducks here and the sheep here. We are here to work together, right. to unify and to raise our vibrations and to learn from each other. He talks about being proud of being a white man and for a black woman, be proud of being a black woman for a man, be proud of being, it's like, Why but yet you want to segment yeah. the group of people that identify as being lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, yeah. or queer into this category of like those that aren't accepted. You know, oh yeah, you guys can gather, but you gather together on your own. Right. We don't want, we don't want you to hear you we mixing in you. with us. Exactly. Right? And what Jeffrey doesn't know is that there's more complicated factors involved in biology, in chromosomes, in DNA. It's not as black and white as it's made out to be. There's a lot of new science that shows that intersexuality happens in the brain as well. There could be individuals that because of hormonal imbalance during the time of conception, during the time of hormonal bathing, you could have a little boy with more of a, a girl development and, and girl characteristics. As you see, what do you think? A little boy just wants to end up being real feminine just for the heck of it? You can't change that. You can't alter that. You can't alter a super duper masculine um, expressing female. Okay, You can't do that. You can't like, this is not Hitler's world. You have to allow people to be in whatever makes them feel comfortable. This dictation of how people are supposed to act and be, that's just, that's just crazy. So Freedom Grow says, let me, oops. Okay. I view him and I agree with some things he says, but I I um, see him be a complete jerk just to tear people down. He, you know, he's a very intelligent man. Like we said earlier, we've been watching Jeffrey for a very long time and think he's got a lot of good information. We bought a lot of his books, but, you know, he can be, like you said, you're a complete jerk, you know, and um, that's not cool. It's not cool for him to incite violence, you know, for him to like try to, to take individuals like my wife and I and make us feel like we're less than, that we're abnormal. Oh yeah, you know, that, you know, you know if you know you're a chicken, you're not a rooster. If you right. know you're a rooster, you're not, if you're a hen, you're not a rooster. And, and he, like, he doesn't know, you know that because like, he doesn't know what people's chromosomes are. He doesn't know what kind of SRY gene um, bathing took place. It is deeper than most people care to know. Do you think that individuals like us want to be this way do you think it's easy to be this way no we struggle we struggle you know why because of people that are constantly making fun of us people that make us even our own family members don't understand us they they push us aside you know it's very harmful what you're doing jeffrey extremely harmful let's share some more stuff here let me go here and says, okay, so Stefan Witham says, so glad someone has the blank, blank, blank to say it. Thank you. I'm not the only one. Everything on this earth is male and female. Every, even the plants are. That's, you know, it's all fine and dandy, but who are you to say what's male and what's female? You don't have a clue. You just go by what the science, you know, at one point they used to believe the earth was flat. Things change and evolve. We are constantly evolving. You have to understand that it's not as black and white as you think. There was another comment. Okay. That. But um, yeah, he goes, isn't that hateful against us? They're taking away, they, they as in us, us, yeah. what we want to be called. Oh, women. Okay, yeah, yeah. so trans women are taking away from what? People like me are taking away what? you know, women want to be called. They should be arrested for that. Oh, seriously, seriously. This, My wife this, being yeah. 
who she is should be yeah. arrested because you're uncomfortable with what is not in your scope of the box. What your religious beliefs, whatever it is that told you certain things were a certain way, but now that there's an evolution taking place, that people are fighting against the bigotry, the hatred, the fear mongering, you want people to be arrested. No, let's see it's here. just it's just wrong. It's yeah, it's no, just no. wrong. That's why what? Yeah, that's why most transgender don't live past the age of 31. Hey, yeah. Okay. I'm 55 and I transition huh. at 38. I'm turning 50 next week. So they end up miserable. Up they know they've made a mistake. Not miserable here. No. The only question that I had in the sh was because of all the shame I received from my parents, all the shame that I received from religious bigots, because they make us feel this small, because of people like you, Jeffrey, who's inciting violence and hatred. You know, it's wrong, Jeff. It's wrong because what you have on your hands now is that you're creating a mob. Mm -hmm. You're inciting creating a mob. Violence and uh, flat Albert says, I understand that those weird blank dudes with a five o'clock shadow dressed up as a woman, AKA pedos are better received by libs to be closer to children than just a creepy dude with a five o'clock shadow. You know, the biggest group of pedophiles that exist are in churches today. Yeah. I mean, we don't have to go through the list of Catholic priests that have been you know, found out to be, you know, really bad with children. You know, um, the, the church has done its best to cover up the shame, the embarrassment of having that as a stain on its record because that is as common as could be in in the Roman Catholic yeah, and Christian circles. It, it's, I mean, it's just... I mean, you know, seriously. Yeah, it's very toxic mob taco forever, definitely. I mean, it's just, I, we listened to the video a couple of times. And again, let me repost it here for you guys to actually watch and maybe, you know, speak your mind, possibly report it. Because um, I think it's it's inciting hate hatred and, and just, it's just wrong, you know? And, and it's really sad for somebody with, his intelligence to stoop down as low as he's doing because of maybe his, there's still something going on with him. That's just like maybe stirring as he says, he identifies as a lesbian in a man's body. So is maybe there something some you're fighting there, Jeffrey? On. I mean, you know, it's, you know, there's you gotta a, wonder. There's a person that wrote um, on their video recently says, had a friend whose son was gay. He kept asking his mom why God made him gay. He really didn't want to be this way. He had enough respect that when he did go to church, he would dress like a young man. He did die of AIDS. At the time, I thought that that was God's answer. Now I have no answer because you taught me there is no God at the way we were taught. Very sad. So now he gives people this, you know, this this reality and now they have no hope yeah you know because he has no answer right to help anybody with no. a gay son or daughter no, exactly you know it's just you know you're abnormal oh yeah. you're abnormal just go back to your go closet. back to your closet um don't mix with me because i don't want you around i don't want you around my children it's like you know i think that you're being a very bigoted man at this point. Extremely you know? bigoted and extremely dangerous what you're doing because Jeffrey, you know, there are a lot of these people that are following you are going to end up having a son or a daughter that is gay, trans, bisexual, whatever. And they're having to deal with all these hateful words, this discrimination, the shame. And instead of you helping a person that has a lot of viewers, you're hurting the community. You're hurting regular folks that are not gonna know how to handle their sons and daughters, again, kids and stuff like that, that are gay, lesbian, or trans. No. 
I'm not going to know. And they're not. And it's going to be your fault, Jeffrey. <clears throat> People do commit suicide because they get tired of being mistreated. They get tired of being shamed. And I mentioned to him, and he responded and said, you know, hey, you need to, I talk about the problems in the church all the time, and they need to clean that mess up, you know. But he says, but you're not answering, you know, my question. You're avoiding the issue. And it's like, I'm not avoiding any issue. There's no issue. And what was his we, question? We are that, open. Why are we pushing the lifestyle? Yeah. It's not a lifestyle. I didn't wake up one morning and said, I'm going to have the lifestyle of the rich and famous. I think I'm just going to inject testosterone and grow a beard. No, Jeffrey, it doesn't work that way. It's not a lifestyle. It's not like you go and buy a porch or you with your middle age crisis or whatever it is. It doesn't work that way. It's very different. It's a lot deeper than most people care to understand. So he's, he says he's pushing back. What does that mean? What does that entail? Because right now, the pushback that we see on your chat is that people are wanting to get violent. Mm -hmm. People are wanting to pick on people that are already discriminated. You know, there is so much discrimination going on against LGBT people. I don't ever see anybody in the heterosexual community being like discriminated against. Like oh, you're hetero, you're not, you can't work here. Oh, you're normative, you can't work here. <laughs> you, you, you don't hear that, Jeff. And Freedom Gross asked a question here. He says, is the amount of trans people being born increasing and so why? Well, there's, there's a massive reason behind that. I believe it's the evolution of the spirit. I believe that we're returning to one. We were originally male and female in one. And I think if you're born a female, you're, you're looking for that male other part of you. And you were born a male, you're looking for that other female part of you. And this is why we're seeing this massive evolution taking place. Could it also be that there is a lot of chemicals in our environment that is actually helping this evolution along? Because we like to blame things, but sometimes things are just because they are. It's part of the transcending of our spirit, the returning to oneness. That's what I believe. So this is what he said, literally. That should be cleaned up, and I talk about it all the time. Don't dodge the question. Normalization of drag TS slash TV are demonstrably steps towards non-humanization, as demonstrated in this video. And you still can't force normalization, quote unquote, of your lifestyle on us. Why do you even need the approval of society? Why isn't freedom enough for you? And so we wrote back and said, Jeffrey, how is that possible when cross-dressing has been a part of humanity for a very long time? Women were not even allowed on the stage. Men had their men's club and wore women's clothing. This is nothing new. In addition, this is not a lifestyle for many of us. Who we are, if you would educate yourself on the medical conditions that science has now proven, instead of listening to right-wing nuts and religious zealots who have been sounding off the alarm since gay marriage has been made legal, you may learn something. The extremist who is run by the archons are creating the animosity against the LGBT. And why is that, Jeffrey? Put on your thinking cap. You yourself have said many things in the books you've written regarding what was done to humanity. We were once both male and female. We became disconnected, divided by the reptile gods, the gods Christians follow. Who are the ones making the big deal about reproduction and this whole men and woman thing? We are not looking for approval. We are looking to live to stop being murdered, harassed, made fun of. Just reading these disgusting comments led by you, the lesbian in a man's body, really Jeffrey, this video is repulsive and incites violence and hatred towards the LGBT. And you know what he just wrote to us 15 minutes ago? I won't allow you to take, make this a platform for your ideas. I will block you if I have to. <laughs> that's the answer, yeah. censorship. Censorship, and it, that's what, when people cannot, provide answers because he's ignorant. He's ignorant about the whole thing. He's just blapping away because he heard some kid by the name of Pharaoh started Young putting all Pharaoh. that stuff yeah, in his head. And now this is how he re he replies. So is this the, the person you guys are following? This Christian whistleblower thinking he knows it all when he's just an angry individual? Has he 
told people why he's a whistleblower and what happened with his life. You know? Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you get you got to like really understand why people do what they do. And let's see here. Dylan says, I made it for once. Hey, guys. Hey, Dylan. Terry says, twin flames are finding each other. Exactly. And I believe this is part of this evolution that's taking place with the trance people coming forward with people embracing who they are, you know? I mean, he literally calls the LGBT community a militarized agenda. It's like, if yeah. there's ever been a militarized agenda, it's been the conception and the, the, the expansion of church mm -hmm. beliefs and stuff, you know, when the, conquistadors wiped the face of the earth earth yeah. off of all the other people on this planet exactly you know? pushing I mean, their god their ways their religion you know jeffrey's doing no, no different. different and bullying bullying because you know he, he's i mean you guys listen to him you see how he is you know and he thinks he knows it all and jeff you don't you don't i'm sorry you, to say but you, you know, don't there are only a handful of transgender women who even want to compete in any kind of professional sports. Amen. And you know, there are those that do compete and want to flaunt their abilities and stuff like that. I'm not talking about those people. I'm talking about just your average person who wants to compete in a 5k, you know, I mean, so when he says that he will block us, if we make, so you just want to be a sound, you don't want anybody to challenge your ideas and your opinion. You just want people to like swallow what you're saying. Here we are trying to educate you on something and you're threatening to block us. Way to go, dude. Yeah. You know, that's, that's really great. And all he wants to let everyone know is that he's pushing back and he wants everybody else that listens to him to push back too. But my question is, how are you going to push back? How are you going to, how are you going to stop a person from literally existing and living our life. I mean, you can't do that. We are like everyone else. When you turn on the TV, all you want to see is white normative people. No, there's a variety of people. There are lesbians, there are gay, there are trans people that live in the world. We also have the right to be in front of the TV. Drag queens have a right to do drag. It's been part of civilization forever. You can't stop this, Jeffrey. I know you love to control it all, but you will not be able to stop this. You and your clonies and the people that are hateful and bigoted and pretend to be all spiritual are not spiritual at all. You're dead asleep. You're part of the archons and they're using you. So another person wrote, no militarized agenda except what you are doing. The people have been here since history began. You say you don't care, but you are obsessed with it. Your straight agenda is on every LGBT's face. You need to just come out of the closet and stop overcompensating. And he goes, what did that rambling diatribe, diatribe even mean? You know, right. it's like, you know, this is a bit extreme. Right. Calling a couple of drag queens from RuPaul's <laughs> drag show that are gonna appear in a 15 to 20 second blip of a commercial with one putting a helmet over her head and saying that she hopes it doesn't mess up her hair. Exactly. That, that is going to be a militarized agenda. Yeah. It's like what? Do you think that That's drag queens are there to make all men gay? Do you think that like it rubs Who off? Who goes to see drag queens anyway? Typically yeah. straight men. Yeah. You know? I mean, it's like, it's like parody for them. It's like mm -hmm. a joke. It's yeah. funny. And, and, you know, there is a large amount of men who cross-dress. I mean, that's just un understood. I mean, I don't know if you ever watched the movie, um, the one about Kennedy being shot and stuff. And basically, Herbert Hoover was like, they were picturing him as a, the FBI director as being a cross-dresser and up in higher levels of government and in like, you know, among the rich and famous. I mean, this is a thing. 
they're just threatened, you know, no. by they're afraid that they might get aroused or something. I don't understand. It's like, look, we're all entitled to live. We're coexisting. You can't bottle us up and throw us away in some sort of closet or something. And it's not going to work that way. Your children need to know because many of your children will be gays, lesbian, and trans. And they need to know that there are other people like them, not just bigoted parents. You know, it's, it's just, it's sickening. It's you know? really sad that he is threatening to block us yeah. for just trying to create a conversation say, and very respectful. We're disagreeing with you, Jeffrey, and what you're doing and what you're saying. You're wrong. You're dead wrong. And if you don't have what it takes to be able to have a conversation with somebody who disagrees with you, then what the heck are you doing on YouTube? You're no different than what you were in the past, yeah. except you just serve a different God now. Yeah. Or maybe it's the, the same, same God, God, just a different color. Yeah. You know, because what you're doing is you're no platforming people. Exactly. Exactly. And that's wrong. And let's see here. So Freedom Grower says. So, okay. So in my case, as a white hetero male, I can only speak from my shoes. I feel like society wants me to hate myself. And the more I love my myself, society wants to shame that. I think we all feel that way, freedom grower. I think that is it something that we ourselves as human beings are doing because of part of the evolution. Maybe we're we're starting to dislike these meat suits because there's going to be a rebirth from our spirit. And this is part of the process. I don't think there's a human alive man, woman, or children that totally loves who they are because we've been taught, we've been shamed from a very young age, whether you're gay, straight, or whatever it is, you know? I, I think it's part of the growth, part of shedding of this old skin. Yeah, I mean, it draws views. It creates a conversation and a way to pit one group against another. And isn't that what this whole matrix system is about. It's about pitting one person, one group, Divide, one culture. And they shall conquer. Yeah. And it's, it's working. It's working because every single group, here we are, we have this virus that God knows what's going to happen with it. And we've got earthquakes and, and, and crazy things happening across the world. And people are arguing about a commercial on the Super Bowl. Number one, overpaid athletes you know th this whole system just needs to like really get a grip because when a sun flare comes along and the grid goes down it ain't gonna make a hell of beans people are gonna have to be survival of the fittest and you might need the help of a couple of individuals that you know were born in the wrong body you might need the help of a, a gay man or a lesbian woman we need to learn to unite, to survive. You know, that's definitely something that I see that needs to take place. Um, mm. And so Freedom Girl says, seems like the same thing trans say to me. You know, it's like, again, we're all, it's, it's an identity crisis of humanity <clears throat> because we have been so traumatized by what's taking place. Our life is not natural. We're all, it's like we're on defense mode. We're like, you know, what's that um, survival of the fittest, literally. There's, there's like a trauma that occurred to both sexes when mm -hmm. they were divided. Yeah. And there's a deep seated pain that every human experiences from that trauma. And we don't know how to deal with it a lot of times, you know, exactly. and we attribute that pain to other things, but we're, all recovering from that pain. It's massive trauma. It's a massive yeah. trauma. And we've been lied to time and time again. And Dylan says, most people don't really care all that much. People like want to argue. It attracts attention because it's still such a popular topic. Yeah. And um, Freedom Grow says we all feel attack for our identity. Yeah. And so, so we have to think about that. It's not just the trans thing. It's like everybody's like equality. No, me first. It's like this narcissistic world that we're living in. People aren't seeing each other. You're looking right through each other, pointing fingers, creating hate. We need to stop that. 
It's about love, people. And when I mean about love, I don't mean about this lovey-dovey, whatever it is that, you know, the word tries to explain. It's about learning to do that dance together, coexist as spirit beings that we are. Finding the light in another human being, whether it's your neighbor, whether it's your family member, whoever it might be, finding light yeah. and stop focusing on the darkness, you know? It's like people are like, well, you don't look like me. Your color is different. You act different, so I'm going to hate you. They make us fear one another. Now they're creating this, well, there's this agenda. They are doing this. Who's they? Seriously, do you think there's like a, a some sort of like board member that, okay, how are we going to make people gay this week? Well, let's see. We'll put on uh, gypsy uh, blah, blah on the TV, and we'll have all men want to wear wigs. No, that's crazy. And Terry says, I wonder how Liberace was treated. I can't, you know, and it's just, yeah. As a second class citizen. Exactly, sure. exactly. And then what makes matters worse is that then we all from the LGBT community are fighting one another. Everyone's fighting. Everybody's like, oh, be careful. You can't, do you even know your neighbors? People don't even trust one another. When the you know what hits the fan we're in trouble because we're going to need one another to survive it's crazy you know we had a power outage pretty minor in portland when we were living there some kind of a heat thing going on you know it was so hot and mm -hmm. the power went out or something or there was a fire was it or something yeah. well whatever it was um we we lost power and we had a neighbor next door and um, he he was absolutely rude. Rude. Yeah. You know, it's like, like what people, happened? Yeah. Neighborly, wonderful, kind people. It's like where are they going? Oh, they're they're gone. And Freedom Gore says, just want to point out that some emotions we deal with are similar as much as they got us divided, because we're made from the same thing. It doesn't matter what color. It doesn't matter. You know, it's like all this division. All this, oh, my my uh, pain is more than your pain. That doesn't stem from our spirit nature. That stems from that reptile nature, from the archons that want us to literally be at each other's throat. And Jeffrey is feeding those archons as much as he claims that he's not. He's working for the enemy, and he doesn't even know it. So let's see here. Kim says, uh, what is in this? Okay, it's how the crazy rich control everything. But it's not just the rich. See, we're doing it to each other. We we want to blame it. And I hear you. I hear you completely, Kim. And yes, but we're doing it to one another. The rich are laughing because they don't even need to do anything. We're doing it to ourselves. We're hurting one another. We're fighting. We're bickering. We're, we're destroying each other. We're creating the boogeyman. Yeah. Uh. Terry says, Preacher Mark could not have said it better. <laughs> I'm on my soapbox right now. And Freedom Grower says, I don't see us all evolving the same way, though. To me, it looks more like we are all going in a bunch of different directions and need to learn to live productive together. Freedom Grower, do you think that is because there are different species controlling this planet and are pitting us against each other? I believe that there are different species that came to this planet, which I call, you know, this is like a um, prison planet or a, what's the word I usually, quarantine, uh, quarantine planet. planet. And it's an experiment. And each species or alien race has their own little experiment. And we're just like going at it with one another. And I mean, I, I believe that truly, you know, that, that, you know, it's, it, it's crazy. It's crazy, but it's some sort of game that they're playing and we're their pawns and we need to realize that we shouldn't be anybody's pawns, you know? I really think that, you know, it, it's a sad day when a person can't even speak. I know. For fear of being platformed. Yeah. No platform. Exactly. I mean, I mean and that happens like, all the time. If you disagree with someone, if you point out something, they can't handle it, so they're going to shut you up. They're going to just block you, not allow you to speak. How brave of you, Jeffrey. You know, I may not have been born with any testicles, but I have more testicles than you. 
And so Marcy Mark says, the answer to it all is simple. Just love one another, just be kind. Very true, very true. It's one of the things our friend Jay Campbell was talking about is that if we exude kindness mm -hmm. and love towards everyone we see, smile, you know, say nice things to people, think the nice, think nice things about people, then we raise our level of mm -hmm. awareness and we live a higher frequency of life, you know, and it's, it's, it's just something that naturally takes place. You know, mm -hmm. all of this that Jeff's doing right here is dragging people back down to that Level. red carnal, like fleshy body Fight. thing yeah. that he talks about, you know, raising humanity to mm -hmm. another level, but he's dragging humanity down, Exactly. you know, and it's like, he's fighting against himself. Yeah, he is. Literally. And Terry says, there are as many paths as there are people on the planet, but we all seek the same things, happiness, freedom, and safety. Yeah. That is very true. And freedom, um, Grower says, that is one thing I did like about Jeff's discussion is that being tribal and communal is okay. And if people segregate, is that, is that bad? I think that's an important question personally. <clears throat> you know, we are from different tribes, but it doesn't mean that one tribe has to try to outdo the other or silence the other, silence the other or try to kill the other. I mean, not I work together. Or not, exactly. You know, exactly. I mean, it's like what he's doing with this whole thing is really segregating, creating animosity and adding fuel to a fire that has been lit for a very long time. Hate towards the LGBT community has been around for a very long time and it needs to stop. It really does. I so, mean, you know, back in the day, there was a guy who you know, exterminated lots of millions of people. And his big hate campaign was against a group of people. Mm -hmm. And it was also against the gay and lesbian community. You know, yeah. that back then in Berlin, mm -hmm. it was a very, yeah, a very hot spot for the gay community. Yeah. And, and they went in there and they just, you know, it's like, it's, it's been, they rounded them up. Yeah. It, it's, this is not new. So for, People to claim that there's this agenda. Everybody's trying to make your kids gay. You know, and then they try to say that all gays and trans are pedos. That's just wrong. That's just like abusive. That's just like totally unheard of. And Taco Forever says, oh my God, that's so true. I've lived in my place for six years and still today don't know my neighbors. That's pretty sad, don't you think? I mean, really, really sad. And Freedom Fighter says, great discussion, folks. You know, there's another person that commented on um, Jeff's Jeff's show called Fabulous Drag Queen Super Bowl. Um, says, I don't think children should have to see deceptions. That's what so we're, we're described as deception. Deceptions. So me living my truth is considered someone's deception. I'm not saying I disagree with what they're doing with their lives, but I don't want to see it because why? I don't understand it. So because you don't understand it and you fear it, you call it deception. Well, could it be that we are the ones, the enlightened ones, the messengers that are trying to bring back what actually is? As creator gods, we are able to create our reality. We are teaching you what can be done, what you can do. You could actually change your world, your life, the way you, you present and see yourself. You don't have to be what you're told that you are. We're handing you the keys of freedom. And Freedom Grower says, just to be clear though, it's different, it's a different issue. And as no matter what colony you have, it's not going to be a trans colony as trans are part of humanity, not a separate species. We are part of humanity and we're not going anywhere anytime soon. And videos like what Jeffrey Daughtry did should not be allowed on YouTube. What he's doing should not be allowed because that is inciting violence, hatefulness, and division. But, you know, sadly, it doesn't stop here. You know, um, the push towards, and you talked about it before, the pendulum has swung. Mm -hmm. And, you know, this push <clears throat> for acceptance, this push for, you know, 
trans this and that and the other and LGBT this, that and the other has just culminated in more anger, more division, more strife, more violence. And I don't think it's going to stop. You know, I mean, when President Obama was elected, people thought that civil rights had hit its its big moment and that we were behind all that. But yeah, then it made it worse. But then the stuff in Missouri happened, you know, mm. in St. Louis and other things happened. And then we got our new president, new president and, and we, we have, see and what happened, all the insightfulness have. of hatred and, and violence and, and things that have taken place. And, you know, we just, I can't express it enough. We need to stop this division. It helps absolutely no one. The only agenda there is, is an agenda to divide and conquer, to keep us fighting one another. Me living as the man that I was born to be is not going to harm anyone. Individuals living their truth and being happy is not going to harm anyone. This is not contagious, folks. This is not like that coronavirus. You don't have to wear a mask when you're around me because I bleed and feel exactly like you do. I cry and hurt exactly like you do. That I am different from you, that's okay. We all are different. And that's what makes us beautiful is our differences. We need to celebrate our differences, not fight them. You know, Jeffrey has a, a, a little, you know, diagram that he shows and it's a slippery slope to non-human for all of us. Um, is that the goal? Is the goal to re be, to remain human forever? Is that what the goal is? Because I thought we're supposed to transcend I thought, that. According to your book, Serpent and Dove, that we were tricked into these bodies. Mm -hmm. So is your goal to remain in the physical? Because he says, first, no gender, which is really sex. They hijack the language. Then there's no sex, no race. He's complaining that boys aren't aren't uh, referenced to as boys and little and girls aren't referenced to as girls they're referenced to as children right and could that be because we are trying to eliminate our differences and see our sameness why do you have to see this as a bad thing jeffrey then it says we'd all be just human great right then it would be human and non-human or artificial intelligence and how long before that distinction offends somebody? So what are we, we now though? What did what did the reptilian gods do to us? Are we not already hybrids? Did that not already happen? Then there is no more real human, just a humanoid. Okay, well, when we got split and placed into these physical bodies, there was no more real spiritual, mm -hmm. you know, elo, he calls it an elo human, mm -hmm. you know. A spiritual being you know existing on another level of, of reality right that we were thrown mm. into this 3d matrix right so he says not transhumanism anti-humanism and we will offend ourselves into extinction unless we wake up and push back yeah how about I push you back. think what you just said there Jeffrey you're working for the actual enemy because people are trying to wake up to their true reality and you're trying to lull them back to sleep. And Freedom Girl says, kind of stuck my foot in my mouth, but thinking this out, I guess if you have a trans child and you see the only solution is love. And that's very true. Love is the only the love is the only solution. But unfortunately, a lot of parents don't see that on, on the contrary, because they listen to people like Jeffrey and you know, they want the boys to be boys and the girls to be girls. And damn it, you know, they're any different. They're going to see that rod and they're going to, they're going to like break their spirit. And they don't realize what that is actually doing to their children. They're destroying them. They're breaking their soul. And that's exactly what the God of this world wants. He wants our souls broken. Totally. Let's see here. Um, how only 3% of the population could change the minds of a massive population is a mystery to me. Yeah. Three whole percent of us. We're just like changing the entire population. And Terry says there are as many paths as there are people. Oh, I already went down. Let's see here. 
take this off. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, just to be clear though, um, Dylan says, I can't ever understand why some people are treated different for the way they look or talk or act. I've had my fair share of it and I wouldn't want that for anyone. It's it's really sad to see that, you know, that bullies bully their their way through the world and they in order for them to feel inferior, they have to tumble, step on us, make us feel less than, and that's really bad. Marcy says one thing I always did was still treat people damning me to hell with love and respect. Eventually they saw past me being gay and saw me as a human. A little kindness really goes along. And does. But it is true. I know it's a cliche, but it is true. Kim says we like to hang around those that think like us, but no need to hate other group or folks. And Fifth World joins us. A long time um, OC. Once we reconnected to the Holy Spirit, then we become co-creators again. Okay, and Terry says, how people treat you is their karma. How you react is your karma. When you react with kindness, you don't take on their debt. You lure them to karma to deal with. That's right. That's right. There's just so much out there that people want to pit one group over and against the other. And, you know, bottom line, what Jeff Dart is doing in with this video, and it should be an offense to anybody mm -hmm. in the LGBT community, um, it's just flat out wrong. It is. You know, this, this is destructive behavior. It incites violence. It um, makes people angry, yeah. you know. It does. Doesn't help anything. So freedom go ahead. Here's a question. What do you think about the point that we're making that we as humanity are a bunch of different species left here and that our interbreeding, if you will, is the great genetic mutations in blood type? Well, like I mentioned earlier, I think we're like an experiment from different alien species and kind of like stuck here on this planet and um, experiment gone bad and gone wrong, if you, if you will. Um, something's got to give and something's got to happen. And I believe that we are speaking through the evolution of what we're seeing. I mean, people always uh, try to make, or they try to say it's bad what's happening. All this gender, this is bad, all this stuff that's going on. And, and is it really bad or is it just what is happening? We're returning to our original state. We're looking for that other part of us, that twin flame, which doesn't mean a love interest, but that other part of you that you're creating, that you're dealing with, that you're resolving, you're evolving. Yeah, and it's important to also realize that this is nothing new, everybody. I mean, the indigenous cultures of the past acknowledge the fact that there are people like us out there we do exist. And the reality is that people like us were looked up to. Mm -hmm. People like us were looked at as being a bridge between the male and the female yeah. because we had both, a, you know, like this connection to both genders, yeah. both sexes, Jeffrey, um, in a way that was different mm -hmm. than just the standard, standard. regular human. and we were actually, you know, looked up to and honored. Yeah. You know, they we were the shamans. We were the Teachers. wise people. We were the ones that people would go to to settle a dispute, a marital issue, um, family issues, all of these things. And what came about with Judeo-Christianity? Judeo-Christianity wiped out the reputation of people like us mm -hmm. and placed us in this running and hiding situation where for thousands of years, mm -hmm. you, the heterosexual community that does not like transgender people, you have created mm -hmm. this 
sense of animosity. This Bible that tells people that they have to be one or the other or else, you know, God's going to send them to hell. Yeah. And if they, you know, if they like the same sex and they're going to hell mm -hmm. and all this other stuff and, and it's like jeffrey is you know he's feeding off of all that and well, what do you expect from a former mm -hmm. evangelical yeah, that's true you know preacher who used to spit on people exactly you know? or wipe his sweat on on people and then people would think they were being healed by that and fifth world says he thinks that humans don't need any help and that him and his buddies have solved world technology issues not sure who job oh yeah yeah anti-alien anti-creator yeah possibly oh, well, possibly possibly yeah, i think he's an agent i think jeffrey does work for the uh the one that he claims that he's against and that's you know double agent i wouldn't i wouldn't put it past you know yes i speak about this all the time we're getting into the satan matrix Saturn or Saturn. Matrix. Yeah. I mean, it's like, why is being trans abnormal? Why is being gay abnormal? Only because the Judeo Christian Bible says it is. Only because the Yahweh God has spoken. Yeah. And yay, we have to listen, right? Yeah, exactly. I mean, King James, oh my God, King James said it. So we need to do it, exactly. right? It's just a good old boys club. And uh, Dylan says, I think I lost a couple of brain cells. How in the world does that make sense in any way? It sounds like the plot of a sci-fi movie. We're living in a sci-fi reality. Uh, I mean, he talks uh, about sci-fi realities and UFOs, and yeah. he goes off on all these tangents, but he just can't understand that there are people that exist that yeah. are like us. Exactly. And Marcy Mark says... If aliens or otherworldly beings came to this earth today, I wonder if it would change how we treat each other or finally open people's hearts, if that makes sense. That's a good one. That's a good one, yeah. And, you know, with all the things that are happening in the world, and there have been a lot of sightings. And, you know, I've always said to myself, to think that we are the only planet with life in it is crazy. Why do we all look so different if we came from Adam and Eve? You've got different, you know, nationalities, different languages, different things. There's a lot that we are not being told. There's a lot that people are not privy to. And there is going to be a massive rude awakening when there is a revealing of the things that are taking place. And, you know. You know, the first thing that Jeff does is he uses sarcasm and he cuts people down. He offends a large group of people that don't frankly want to be offended. But see, the thing is that sarcasm mm -hmm. is a tool not to build anybody up. It's always used to diminish and demean people. Exactly. You know, it's always trying to knock people down it's always trying to it's a tool that's used by weak individuals who have no argument mm -hmm. we have challenged Greg, jeffrey to a debate and he instead wants to block us yeah because he, he has stated that he wants to engage with a bible scholar to prove his theories of what he believes of the bible and everything mm -hmm. and not being true and everything and he says that nobody comes to challenge him but when somebody does challenge him, he just says that he wants to block you. Yeah. So let's see here. Fifth World says they are really telling us who they are and what they stand for more and more every day. You know, we came about seeing um, the Global Witness through Jeffrey Doherty mm -hmm. and what they were talking about. And the Global Witness had some ideas. Jeff had some ideas. And we were, like, listening like regularly yeah. every morning yeah. when we were making our oatmeal and having yeah. our one meal a day back then in, in, in new mexico and we were just like sponges just yeah. soaking it all in and everything and you know something i mean it's just what is going on yeah, it's you know yeah totally crazy let's see this thing just 
Um, they'd sick. be shot out if people can't accept what? what? Which one? This one? They'd be shot up if people can't accept humans that are different because they were talking about, oh, yeah. about, talking about aliens ranks. coming in. Yeah. Yeah. If we can't even accept one another, what, what can we expect? You know, so Terry says, I guess on meat suit level in our animal nature, we are different species, just like there are different horse breeds and bird species. We're supposed to vinegrate at a higher level than that. Yeah. But all these different species of animals, a lot of it has been um, genetically modified. You know, there's a lot of things that what has been done to us, we've done to other plant and animals as well. Um, it's almost like history repeats itself. And uh, But I have great faith that there's going to be a real reveal in the very near future. And people are going to be in for a rude awakening. And that's all I have to say. And see, Marcy says, all the ancient gods were all either genderless or both genders. Christians erase that history. Very true. Very true. And um, he talks about that in his book, you know, which is very disheartening to see him now spread what he's spreading. You might as well just go back to believing in the Bible, yeah. Jeff. Just might as well go I mean, back and be well a priest again or a pastor. Be yeah. a preacher and go, you know, slay people in the spirit again. Yeah. Someone wrote, as a kid who would have demanded medical intervention and an adult who's grateful it wasn't available, I object to the child trans agenda. It's an adult thing, like drag queens. You know, I mean. Okay, let, let's put it this way. If I would have had the opportunity to transition as a child and not had to have gone through the breast removal and, and certain things, it would have made my life a lot easier Social, socializing as a young boy versus socializing as a female and so forth and so on. Is everyone trans? Most likely not. Does there have to be maybe a little bit more gatekeeping? Possibly. But who are we to interfere in another person's life and journey? Because everything that we do and everything that that happens in our life is there to teach us something. So I can never say, I wish I would have never done this. I wish I would have never done that because everything that I've done, every path that I've taken has made me who I am today. So who in the heck is anyone to prevent things from happening to people? It's part of their spiritual journey. It's part of their growth. It's part of their development. It's part of their, just their awakening. You know, it's like we all come into this world pretty, pretty, dead you mm -hmm. know i mean when we're first infants i think we have all that information but as we develop and grow in this planet things get shut down yeah. dna gets messed around you know it's kind of like when you dream at night and you don't remember you like you're trying to really because dreams are relevant that people don't have a clue do you think we just like there's this god that created adam and eve and they're just reproducing and having kids and being born then they die and then they go to heaven or some go to hell. I mean, we really have to like understand there's something bigger and deeper that we're being told. And now is the time for us to understand this and fully wake up, not pretend woke, but fully wake up to the truth. The truth is that we've been lied to. Religion is a hoax. There are people out there taking your money, selling you rods and, and bracelets and things and feeding you with all sorts of BS and now inciting hatred crazy that's it's dangerous too yeah you know because there's already enough violence on this planet do we want more mm -hmm. do we want to create more for only six percent of people who identify as lesbian gay transgender or queer seriously bisexual i mean it's like what's the battle who's yeah. i mean so you're gonna beat up on a trans woman who basically you know, wouldn't have the strength that you do. You know, I mean, it's like, it's, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. It's so, so dumb. Fifth World says, yes, Terry, humans were meant to be more eternal, but there was manipulation after creation was established, and we're getting back to the original blueprint now. Return to oneness, as we say in our intro. And it's not just about returning to oneness in the sexuality sense, because we already know that yeah. this physical body, as Jeff elaborated in his book, Serpent and Doves, it is a counterfeit. Yeah. This is not even the real deal. Exactly. This physical 
It's just like a decoy, a detour. Like, you know, it's like it's like a dream state that we've all been placed into, and our reality hasn't even been experienced yet. You know, or we did experience it, and this is basically our dreaming state. You know, and Dylan uh, shares people, Christians, I mean, use the story of Babylon from the Bible to explain that. Apparently, that that's where God created the concept of languages and nationalities because he was a little heated. That's a little deeper than that. We're talking about DNA mix-up. They've actually taken our DNA and literally disconnected. See, when we started getting smart back in the day, the gods, because it's, it's really deep, uh, Dylan, there's not a god. They're there are this reptilian archon race that have come to this planet and really messed with the original creation, which was spirit. It was not a human body. And when we started getting too smart for our bridges, they disconnected our DNA and confused our language, quote unquote. It's really deep. There's a lot of information out there regarding this. You won't hear it in the Bible. You will not hear it from Christians. Um, but well, the thing is that one of the telling verses in the Tower of Babel story is the fact that it says, come, let us let us go down to them yeah, and, confuse and confuse their language. language. Because if they are capable of attaining what they want, there's nothing that means no thing that will stop them. Mm -hmm. So basically, this is the gods or the Elohim, those mm -hmm. that were... Uh, smarter than us, I guess, at that time. Mm -hmm. Those are those creators that recognize that we ourselves are divine yep. and full. And, and Jeff talks about it. He says that we're our own guru and that we yeah. are our own, you know, amazing spiritual being of light and all this mm -hmm. stuff. But then it's like these gods or whatever you want to call them, they decided to make us unaware of our situation, unaware that we are capable. They knew it, mm -hmm. but what they did was they took out that piece that was able to do the things that they could do and shut down a certain piece of the DNA strand yeah. or the spiritual DNA, yeah. so to speak. You know. We're that AI that he talks about. We already are a hybrid. We have been genetically modified. And um, Marcy Mark says, Mark and Lena, you two have been my saving grace since I found you on YouTube. Or, oh, thanks, Marcy. Thank you for recognizing and thank you so much We're for being so part glad to of, help. of the chat here. Yes. And Terry Rose says, The veil is lifting. It is. It is. People are waking up and, you know, there's... It gets worse before it gets better. That's why everyone's fighting one another. You see all the crazy things that are happening in the world. But I always say there's no such thing as bad or good. Things happen for a reason. And although something may seem deemed dark and, and terrible at a moment, it's time. It's, it's a blessing in disguise. After a while, these are growing pains that we're going through. These are times that we're going to remember. And it's, it's exciting because, you know, everyone's doom and gloom and talking about the end of the world and all these viruses and zombieville and whatever else, but good things will take place. I know, I feel it in my heart. We do not need to live in fear. We need to resonate with a higher vibration. Call it love. Call it whatever you want to call it. We need to be in that higher vibration. And there are many men who fear um, being vulnerable, who fear being able to share their emotions, who fear being able to put it out all on the line and to reveal who they truly are. And I believe that Jeffrey Doherty is one of those type of people because everything that Jeff does is from an outsider's point of view, looking in. Instead of a person who does real internal work yeah. and works through things and you can actually connect with him in like this, you know, there's people that you can connect with in an intimate level yeah. and it doesn't He's not take one that of those long. People. He's very much outside looking in and he doesn't want to Very, deal with 
the traumas that he's endured. Yeah. He, very analytical, you know, very pointing fingers at every, it's everybody else's problem, never his, never takes responsibility. So you have people that comment on his chat saying, I got my ear pierced and tried to hide it at 15. This is a guy mm -hmm. got his ear pierced. My mom gave me earrings for a birthday present. Surprise. My pop said, those better be effing cufflinks. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that is why so many men mm -hmm. are afraid to show any type of feminine traits yeah. whatsoever There's because of that homophobia, that fear of mm -hmm. losing their macho-ness mm -hmm. and, you know, their alpha card and stuff like that. And it's like, this is the breed that Jeffrey Doherty is creating. Yeah. You know, there is a disconnect more. between the loving father and the son, and there's this fear, and there's not a true relationship that takes place. And I find a lot of men are lacking that. And that is why they have this homophobia. That is why they, you, they're like a brick wall. You can't get to them. You know, so Marcy says, I believe our human brains could never fully understand fully what God is. It would be like trying to explain math to an ant. Their brains aren't equipped for it. I truly um, believe that whatever it is that we are part of is not something that needs to be worshipped, is not something that has an agenda. I believe that it's an energy source that we are all part of, that we could tap into and be as godly as it is. I believe that there are people or even a species that has indoctrinated us, created this fear and made us worship them, but they know what we are made up of and they are jealous, they fear us and they keep us entrapped in these meat suits in these prison cells and it's time for like terry says the veil to be lifted we are going to see dramatic things happen within our lifetime things that most people will not understand but we're living in great times it's really an amazing thing to be able to do the deep work as you did mm -hmm. last year and people will point fingers and laugh at you and say that they're eating popcorn, waiting for the next U-turn and all this stuff. But the reality is you did something that was incredibly difficult mm -hmm. for many to ever even try mm -hmm. to attempt. You did the deep work. Yeah. You went in. I went in and, 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 it. Um, and it was in stages, you know, the stages that you've witness throughout the time we've been together, detransitioning, meaning I, I return back to the birth that I was assigned or the sex I was assigned at birth. And I needed to do that because I needed to be able to get back in the glimpse of all the pain and suffering that I went through as a child, things that I had literally just like buried and I needed to do the work. And I did that work, all the stages of detransition all, I even went into religion because I was raised Jehovah Witness. So I dove into all that muck, things that most people would not dare do because the pain is so awful. And having gone in and done the deep work that I needed to do has allowed me to be where I am today and see the things that I couldn't see before because I had literally buried them. And it was really painful for our marriage the first time around because I was trying to to see this, you know, and just to live it. Mm -hmm. And and then when I got in my accident, got injured and everything, I realized that maybe this wasn't going to be attainable for me and stuff. And so I, I cast some doubt into my situation. And I believe that that doubt also got cast on was me. cast on yeah, you. Yeah, so it trickled because, on me. As but, well. but in the sense of like, you know, you showed me your old pictures and I was like, what? You know, mm -hmm. and then I could sense that there was some unresolved something going on with you mm -hmm. and you just 
didn't want to face it. No, you know, of course and not, because no one ever wants to face the their demons. In the span of four yeah. or five years, we were forced to open that can of worms up. And Pandora box I'm got so wide glad. open. Yeah, I'm just so glad that you did that work. Yeah. And a lot and of people make fun of me. Both. Yeah, it you know, freed us both. A lot of people make fun of me. A lot of people, you know, take digs, and you know, they they can never understand, you know, that in order for you to heal, you have to literally open up those wounds again because they didn't fully close. And I had to do that and I did the work and I am grateful that I did the work and I'm grateful that I wasn't fearful of doing the work because I couldn't be where I am today, emotionally, physically, and spiritually. And we're so glad that we've been able to walk these roads and stuff and to come out on the other side of it, yeah, you know, we remarried recently and yeah. our lives have never been better. Yeah. Our relationship has never been better. Um, things are very solid. And the questions that I had, I don't have them anymore. The, the, the traumas that I was dealing with, the pain that I was mm -hmm. dealing with, I just don't. It's you important know. for people to really do the work, reflect, dig in, you know, don't take a, book like a bible to give you answers don't allow people like jeffrey daughtry or anyone for that matter to tell you what you need to know because what you need to know is already inside you it's already your higher self has got the formula that you need and marcy mark says exactly mark i agree i say god because i'm not sure how else to refer to the energy we are all connected to yes. And Dylan says, I know how that guy feels since I don't pass. I have to overcompensate masculinity because I'm not feminine, then I'm, because I'm more, more feminine than I'm comfortable with. It's kind of sucks sometimes. I hear you, but you know, it's it's like there's an essence, Dylan. There's an an essence that's within you. And I know as physical beings, we're always trying to change your physicality, but we start that change from within. You tap into your essence. You visualize yourself day in, day out. You get to know the higher self, you. And before you know it, everything falls into place. It's not about surgery. It's not about the beard. It's not about the hormones. It's about you, the person, who you are. Most people don't know who they are. They, they, they're based their life all the time on trying to please others, on trying to be something somebody else wants them to be. But when you get to learn you, and that comes through meditation, that comes through self-reflecting, that comes through sitting in silence and getting to really listen to that inner voice of yours, then and only then will you be able to find that key to unlock the things that are inside that lets you be you. And you can't give up on you you need to make yourself a priority exactly. i know what your bible what you've been taught what christianity teaches jesus others then you but it emanates from you forget others forget jesus mm -hmm. focus on you and what you need to do and let everything emanate from that God that is within you, that God energy, as Marcy was saying, that emanates from within, from your bowels, from yeah. inside of you. Yeah. Yeah. You know, that is who is the important one here. You're the one living yeah. your life. You're the one who's responsible for the choices that you make, how you present yourself, what you do with your life, what your future is going to be. You are the one in control, not God, not your mom, not your dad, not your sister, brother, uncle, grandmother, grandfather, nobody. At the end of the day, those around you are just players in that play. It is you. You put them there. Yeah. It <laughs> is you that needs to evolve, heal, and be because everything else is just an accessory. And I know that sounds selfish, but that is why we're here as spirit beings, to be able to have spiritual growth. And Dylan is thanking us. Um, 
for all that we do and all the encouraging and kind comments. You're so welcome. Yeah. I mean, it's it's hard. It really yeah, is. He's going through a hard time, and you know, um, finding the challenge really helped him, and we're, that's what we're here for. I think we rambled a lot, and I hope yeah, I that Jeff uh, has an idea of what, where we're coming from. But you know, I see him. I see his pattern, mm -hmm. and I know that he won't listen. Yeah. He won't. He's too proud. He's, he's got too much. He's ego. got too much ego. Yeah. He thinks he's the hottest thing going. And yeah. He has all the answers, mm -hmm. and he's the only one who can figure this mess out. Yeah. And he's busy making his. Sponsors yeah. and money and money and everything. So. He does. But this is just a warning for everybody else yeah. to, you know, check it out. Yeah. See it. And Try if you can, again, if you can reset. flag that video, yeah, this is very it would offensive. be very helpful because there's a lot of people that are in danger yeah. through that video. Yeah. Um, it's just breeding more hate. You know, and um, I say shame on you, Jeffrey. You know better than that. But I guess you returned to serve the God that you claimed that you had left. He got you right back. Yeah. Just making it in a different way. And we do challenge you to a debate if you want to have one. Um, we would love to bring about our ideas and share them with you. Mm -hmm. Um we know that you're busy and you're always making podcasts and stuff. And we've asked you to have you on or to have us on and you have ignored, ignored us, us. Yeah. Um, and have written, but basically have kind of dissed us. But, yeah. you know, I really do think that you need to know what you're doing about yeah. this issue. Instead of just rambling and speaking out of your, you know, where. Because you're going to hurt people. Marcy says, Jeffrey teachings make zero sense. It's all over the place. Yeah, that is for sure. And Ryan joins us as we're about to end. Oh. <laughs> and Freedom Grower says, It would be a great discussion, though, if he humbled himself and spoke with you. Well, I'm humble and, and Jeff Jeffrey are not, you know, it's anybody yeah, who knows. I, I hope he proves me wrong. But, yeah. Yeah. But he's yeah. busy blocking. Yeah. He's probably already blocked us. Yeah. You know, but, you know, that's how it goes. That's how it goes. He's, um, yeah. Anyway, I think that's all she I wrote. guess that's all we're going to talk about yeah. on this show. Yeah, I guess it's going to be 9 o'clock. And um, I'm sure people have things to do. And We had another on. topic that we wanted to touch on and maybe briefly for our next, next show yeah. that we can mention that as a prelude. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Um, which one is it? Or Whichever kinda, one you want. Right now, I'm kind of like a little brain dead, so help me out here. With oh, the, with, 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 um, um, with oh, that. Okay. With, um, there's a lot of individuals in the trans community um, that are, in my opinion, adding fuel to the fire and to get people like Jeffrey and things like that by, you know, really harping on biology, really harping on, on, things that are dividing the trans community and adding tools to Christianity and to rad feminism. So, um, you know, it's, it, we get it from our own community. We get it from people like Jeffrey and other, you know, really dogmatic people, but it's, it's really important for everyone who is part of the LGBT community to try to get on the same page and stop the infighting, you know? And stop giving people fuel to hate us. Because when you agree with them, <laughs> you're, you're literally just being used by them, you know? I mean... They don't know that. They, they they think that they're doing something right and good yeah. by opening up this can of worms, but they're actually just creating more animosity and more hatred and more laughter against this community and you yeah. know diminishing our value and our purpose and everything. And it's really sad when it comes from people who are trying to transition themselves mm -hmm. on various stages of transition, and yet 
Yeah, they and I get it. Say. I get it. They're hurting. I've been there. That was part of my angst. That was part of everything I did. You know, it's hard to look within and know that you're still broken and that you, you thought things had been figured out, but obviously they weren't. I get it. I get what they do, what they do, but they need to stop because not only are they hurting themselves, but they're hurting others. And Freedom Girl also said he can't deal with being challenged. That's yeah, I don't think pretty so. much. I mean, I think it's just a fake call because I'm sure there's pastors out there who would love mm -hmm. to be to challenge him to a debate of yeah. ideas, but he he talks a big talk. But that's all but he does. That's all he's just a big barker. Yeah. And he has a big channel and he yeah, barks. He barks. Most frustrating about Christians is that the message was not to worship Christ, but to be like him. We can heal, we can walk on water. Or so the book says. Exactly. We are the ones we have been waiting for. We have the capability of doing great things. And even though we were dumbed down, disconnected, and everything that they've done to us, we still have the capacity to rise above all of it and be the creator gods that we are. And we so, can break the code. Yes. We have the, the capability. Yes, we do. As... as eternal beings exactly. of light we exactly. have that capability every single one of us yes we do have that capability all right guys we won't keep you up any longer thank you so much for tuning in yes. we love you but, but remember, remember to always, always love, love yourselves, yourselves too mm -hmm. good night Bye.